if you have used google bigquery you would have known that there are certain data sets even the data sets that are available on public data set that might be with an array data structure or an array an array data structure looks like this so instead of having a particular value which is like a you know a scalar value like this you have an array which has got multiple records so instead of having one value you would see a value uh, like a column that has got multiple values in fact like it might have uh, another array within it so you've got a, either like a scalar element a single element or you've got an array with multiple elements so if this is the type of data set that you are and you want to figure out how to access the element here this video is to help you with that so this video if you see one of the issues that you would face is for example let's say i want to i want to take the product price so okay so let's say i want to take product price so i'm i'm clicking here and then you can see that it has given me this so first let me let me say i want to query it um let me close this i want to say i want to query this table okay once I click, I want to query this table. You can see that I've got the sample query. So I can say select star from whatever the table name is and then limit 100 or 1000. So this query would successfully run. Okay, I'm doing command enter and then you can see that this query being successfully executed. So now if I want to only extract the product price, which is available inside product, which is available inside hits, what Google BigQuery by default gives me is this syntax. So if I end up, if I try to use this, you, you can see that I just copied and pasted it here. And if I run it, you can see that it throws me an error. What is the error? It says cannot access field product on a value with array type, array structure, blah, blah, blah. So what it tries to tell you is that we are trying to access something of array type, but the way we are accessing, we cannot access it. So if that is the case, if you end up in a position with this particular error, then what do you have to do? All you have to do is you have to use a function called unnest. I'm going to link this blog post in the YouTube description so that it gives you a very comprehensive overview of how to use unnest function. But to quickly show you what you can do now is you know that product price is inside product and uh, product is inside hits. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say select star from I'm going to remove I'm going to keep limit for now and just to make it easier for the query to run. So after from after the table name, I'm going to put a comma and then say I'm going to say unnest of hits. So you know that we want to unnest the hits. We want to go inside the hits. So I'm saying unnest of hits as maybe let's say H. OK. So at this point, I've unnested hits and I'm going to only get h dot star. I want to see after you unnest what happens. Okay, so now when I run this query, you can see the query runs successfully. After, after I run this, it's going to show me the result. And you can see the result where it has got the, the scalar values and it has also got the actual, the actual elements. Okay elements inside another array so in our in our case like the product is what we wanted to access so now if i try to access h dot product dot product price this is how i should ideally access right because i've got product dot product price if i try to do this once again i hit the same error cannot access field product price on a value with type you know the reason is the reason is because this is another array within an array. So when you unnest, your scalar values are fine. Your values that are, you know, like you had to handle like one single element value, those are fine. But if you have another array, now you need to unnest that as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add another comma here and I'm going to say unnest of h dot product. So I'm trying to unnest product itself now, which means if I want to access product price, all I have to say is, okay, I'm going to unless this at an alias P and I can say P dot, okay, product price. And let's run this and then see. So far it has not given us any error. And uh, let's, let's see, hopefully it shouldn't. Yeah, we have successfully managed to get product price. So now I can say P dot some V2 product, I think that's a column, V2 product name, yes. And I can say comma, so I've got two columns now. I've got V2 product name, I've got product price. And when I run this, you can see that my, I've got the product name, I've got the product price. So what we have done now is, 
we had a data set okay within that the data set there was a column okay and within that column there was an array data structure and within that array it's not just simple elements but then you've got multiple elements so you've got single element which is like a scalar value but you have also got another array within that so what we were trying to do is we were trying to access an element within the second level array so the first level array and then second level array and we saw that unnest is the function that we need to use and we also learned how to use unnest so that we can successfully write a query first unnest the hits the column name where uh, you're going to expand it into multiple elements and within that you pick the second array and then you unnest that as well with an alias and then you access those elements inside that your second level unnest with the column name that you just saw like product price okay product price you can get it so this is basically how you handle arrays on google bigquery if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section Otherwise, I hope this very short video tutorial was helpful to you if you are stuck at this problem just like me for many hours before I figured out a solution. Happy coding.